time, there was a princess, Princess Elizabeth. She was very kind to her kingdom, and she always laughed with her jester. Her jester loved his job. <laughs> She had a warrior who protected her, and she would get paid in gold, for their treasure was big. And Princess Elizabeth was so kind that she rarely used her her executor. Ah, <sighs> long day for me. Her chef prepared the best dishes. I'm here with your salad, Princess Elizabeth. Thank you, Chef Christina. You're very welcome. You know I'm very honored to serve the princess. But then one day, it all changed. It was time for the jester to come in and had a play. Hey, and make jokes for the princess when a blacksmith was hired. Thank you, princess, for this job. You're welcome. The jester was about to dance. And then the blacksmith found the treasure. He planned on stealing it. But then... The warrior spotted that the blacksmith had gone to the treasure. Hey, get away from the treasure. He was sentenced to death. And the warrior understood and brought him to the executor. He was brought to the executor. He was killed. So then he was fired at his head death ceremony, or in our words, a funeral. The queen was very upset that she already lost someone. But the jester heard danced and played jokes for her. The princess had laughed. When the princess finished her, her salad from before, she thought of something. She was going to be heir. And she can't hold up all the treasure by herself. She needed a, pr a prince to act as king. She would need to marry. She told the warrior to have everybody pick out their favorite prince to come uh, to a ball. The warrior suggested that she he off the prince of Azarth. He was strong, loving, caring, and turning king in a month, in a week. The princess accepted, and then that night, everyone fell asleep when the ghost of the blacksmith haunted the house. He rehired himself when he, the a warrior forgot to who give back the tool to the princess. The executor was asleep, so he hammered her, not killing her, but injuring her for killing him. unto the warrior for making the orders he injured her too
for the princess ordering death, he also hammered her. Nobody died, but they were all injured. Except for the jester. The jester noticed everybody was injured. So he went to get the nurse. After everyone was healed, the, the kingdom was savory again. The princess uh, is very happy with her kingdom. And the prince was coming. He came riding no steed and bowed before the princess. The princess admired him. The prince asked for her hand in marriage, and she agreed. The warrior escorted him to their best a, a guest room. The, exec the executor had a bad feeling about him. When the executor has a bad feeling about somebody, the princess doesn't feel safe around them. But the princess didn't know. So the executor saved the secret for her. After her, the warrior escorted him to his room. He fell fast asleep in a on his bed. The warrior left, leaving him alone. Then the ghost came and hammered him. He didn't want him to know about him. So he hammered him. The next morning, Princess found him laying there. She was surprised that he didn't wake up yet. When he would stand, he would fall. And he, she put him up on the bed. And she left. That evening, as the prince slept, the executor came to check him out. She wasn't very sure about him. He seemed fine to her after her she checked him out. Then he healed. The prince and the princess got married. And then... And then Princess Elizabeth told the prince she is pregnant with a baby. The prince was surprised. The ghost of the blacksmith still lived in the castle, so the ghost could hurt the baby. But Princess Elizabeth still was not aware of the ghost. She talked to someone about her pregnancy. And then the fateful day came. Princess, who was now a queen, gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. She named her Azar after her, her cousin's child. And like her niece, her Azar had Fire power. They loved their baby so much. Until that night, the blacksmith tried to kill the baby. But her fire power protected her by a scorching him. And then, that's the night. Princess Elizabeth found out about the ghost. She banned him and made sure her baby was okay. Sixteen years later, 
Azar grew up to be a fine princess. The executor would say her word. The jester would do his every trick, and the chef would cook only her favorite foods.